This is Tram's first class cabin. Wooden seats line up on either sides. Grilled metal fans hang from the roof to prevent accidents. A metal handle rod acts as hand grab. The rear section is for ladies. The conductor of the tram who gives you the ticket is seen sitting in the ladies section. I approach the entrance and step down to get a view outside. The tram picks up speed with the driver standing up front managing the controls. The road outside seen whisking away as the tram heads towards a traffic light. The tram is seen competing with a police car, a public bus and few auto rickshaws. We stop for a moment at the red lights. The tram speeds up but overtaken by autos, bikes and closely followed by the public bus. The bus is about 2 inches away from the tram as it lines up to overtake. It is amazing they did not touch. The tram stops and braving the bus behind, I jump on the road. You can see the tram behind me for a whisker. This is the tram's cockpit. The driver stands as his left hand holds the speed gear which he yanks from left to right. The right hand holds the brake lever which he also pushes left or right to stop and release the tram. The typical whine of the DC motor kicks in as the tram takes off again as it gains speed. The driver peeks through the colored iron grill up front. A sweet bell rings once behind telling the driver to stop. If the bell rings twice, it means to start. The plate up front displays the tram number and the destination. The unmistakable hiss is the belch of compressed air release as the tram stops. We all wait at the red light to see the tram back in action. You can see the dashboard with the controls are as old as 1902 made in England. Think about the age of this tram and how beautifully it runs. A scattering of passengers can be seen behind me as a lady prepares to get down from the tram. I hope you enjoyed a short ride from Deshopriya Park to Gorihat Junction with me on a Calcutta tram.